All right, this is going to be my fourth attempt at trying to get in contact with one of the Idaho murder victims. is the focus of the investigation nine it's days more after than the bodies six weeks details about school. the deadly University of Idaho stabbings. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. It's me, Cody, here. Today, after receiving so many requests over the past week, I'm going to be attempting to get in contact with one or multiple of the victims from the Idaho College incident. Now, because there are multiple victims, I'll be attempting to reach out to whichever one can come and use this device best. The reason is, when we have many spirits trying to come through all at the same time, the portal starts to become very inaudible, messy, and hard to understand. With that being being said, in this video, I'm going to be attempting to find out answers relating to what happened that tragic night and find out how they're doing now on the other side. Just before we get into it though, I do need to state a quick disclaimer. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Cody, and here on this channel, I conduct spirit box sessions using ITC devices. I can never be 100% sure who or what is coming through and speaking through this device at any given time. This is why I encourage you, as the viewer, to use your own critical thinking and to come to your own conclusion on whether you believe that this was the spirit of the individual mentioned in the title of this video. When talking and calling out to the spirits, I will call out using their real name names in hopes that that is who we are speaking to, but again, I can never guarantee that who you hear in this video is the spirit of the individual mentioned in the title of this video. Spirit communication is still in its early stages and is extremely experimental. This is why I urge you to watch this video with an open mind and let me know in the comments section if you believe that this was the spirit we hope to get in contact with, based off the replies that they give us and the messages that they leave. Now with all that being said, let's get straight into today's video. Alright, this is going to be my fourth attempt at trying to get in contact with one of the Idaho murder victims. Uh, so far I've been unsuccessful, I've brought some crystals uh, to the table to try to uh, bring up the uh, energy levels in here, so we'll see if that helps a little bit. My spirit guide George has been working very hard to help us get in contact with one of the victims. If anybody involved in the Idaho murder case is here, can, can you please come through and use this device to speak and possibly even maybe shed light on this tragic situation? Hello. Hi, I can hear we have a connection with somebody. Can I ask who this is that I'm speaking with right now? It sounded like a reply there. Can you try again? Kayla or Kaylee? I'm sure one of the victims had a name similar to that. Uh, I'll put a I'll put a, a reference on screen if that's true. But uh, thank you for joining us tonight. I think I heard the name Maddie. I'm having a little bit of trouble hearing you. I may be able to hear your replies a little bit clearer later when I review the footage, though. I know, Maddie, but you're doing such an amazing job, and we all appreciate it so much. Maddie, if you're feeling comfortable, I'd like to ask you questions relating to what happened that tragic night, and also find out how you're doing now on the other side. That's right, you are very strong. 
I can feel all your energy in the room. I just want you to know that the public and the police know who did this to you. Brian Kohlberger is in jail and he won't be coming out anytime soon. Nobody believed you? Did he try to hurt you before or did did he have any interaction with you prior to that night? Wow, I'm so, so sorry you had to go through all this. I appreciate you coming through as well as everybody watching this video. We all appreciate you coming through and telling us this. This next question may be hard to answer, but can you help us find out why Brian Kohlberger may have done this to all of you? That one wasn't too clear. I know uh, you keep mentioning something about uh, him following you, I think. Did he ever say anything to you outside of school hours that may be helpful to know? Wow, these are all such validating replies. Just before I forget though, I think I heard you say something about threatening and reporting. I'm not sure if he was threatening you or you were threatening to perhaps report him. I was just wondering if uh, we could get more clarity on that if you could. Thank you very much for all these replies. These are so helpful in piecing together the puzzle and finding out what happened that night. The police say that he was extremely intelligent and he studied for a PhD in criminology. Um, so any information that you uh, can provide us with will uh, help to build a stronger case against him. Can you tell us what you remember from that night when everything happened? Were you guys sleeping when all this happened? I'm so, so sorry. I know this must be so traumatic to have to recall. We're going to now move on to some of the more better questions, and we're going to move away from some of this uh, scary stuff. You've done an amazing job coming through and helping us piece together what happened that day. Everybody, including all your friends, I'm sure appreciate everything that you're doing. So thank you so, so much. Now, as with every spirit on the channel, I like to ask how your experience was transitioning over to the afterlife. It's such an amazing and unique experience for so many people. Though sometimes people's lives end in tragedy that result in trauma, the transition into the light is described by many to be the best feeling they've ever felt. Can you come through and tell us a little bit about your experience? A star? What was it like? Yeah. 
and you got big. Wow, that sounds so beautiful. Did you go into this blue light? That sounds great. Considering how much of a traumatic experience it must have been to have to go through all that, that sounds so amazing, and I'm so glad you got to experience all this. Could you tell us where the light took you? Are you in a nice place now on the other side? Home. Wow. Usually, at this point in the video, I would ask if you need help getting to the light. However, in this video, I think you've already gotten there, and you're very happy where you are. So I'd like to thank you so much for coming through and speaking with us tonight, and helping us piece together everything that had happened to you. You don't have to fear any more on the other side. The evil man that did this to you is going to be put away for the rest of his life. Thank you so much for all the time that you've given us, and may God bless you and the three other victims on the other side.